Hello there, we're now going to have a look at the bank module on Sage 50 Cloud. Simply just click on bank accounts in the left hand sidebar. The bank module screen will then appear. The screen looks very similar to other modules that we have been through in this course, such as the nominal module, the customer module, the supplier module. The layout is very much the same. We have a list and we have a number of icons or buttons at the top of the screen. This list shows all bank accounts that have been added to Sage 50 Cloud. That includes petty cash accounts and also credit card accounts. The first thing we're going to do is add a new bank account. Very much the same as the supply module and customer module. Just click on new at the top left and follow the instructions. So our bank current account is 1200. Let's do 1201 and let's call this Barclays current account. There are a number of things you can enter here such as an opening balance if there is one, um, a minimum amount, a minimum cash amount the bank balance can get to, bank details such as the account name, account number, all of this can be filled in. As I've mentioned in previous videos, the more data you put into Sage, the more useful the software will be. So I highly suggest you fill in as much as possible. We then have defaults that you can enter and also a memo. This is just like a notepad, just like you've seen on the customer and supplier accounts. Click save. 1201 Barclays current account is now showing on the software. To view a bank account, simply just double click on the account and the account will come up. You can change the name. Let's say we want to change this to Barclays business account. Just simply change the name, click save. The account will then be changed. To view the activity of each account, once again, just double click and go to the activity tab. Very much the same as customer and supplier accounts. Once you know how to use one module on Sage 50 Cloud, it's very much that you know every module because the layout and processes are pretty much identical in each of the modules. So this is the activity of the bank current account. There's nothing showing because nothing has been posted yet. In upcoming videos, we will go through money in and money out of the bank, recording money in, money out, customer receipts, and also supplier payments. Thank you for watching. Speak to you in the next video.